Hey guys, Steve Welch here, Beeman Toyota in downtown Nashville. This is your TTLS, your Toyota trim level series. Uh, this is where I show you guys uh, the trim levels on each individual vehicle to help you select the right one for your family. Once again, I am master certified in everything Toyota. I am also a sales trainer and product mentor here at Beeman and a sales society winner with Toyota. So I do know my product, but I will tell you, this is the Venza. It is brand new for 2021. Uh, once again, uh, those of you that haven't seen my other videos, the Venza is a repeat. Let's put it that way. It's come back from the, uh, from the discontinued and it is brand new it's nothing like the old one other than a similar size we'll call it but um uh, and, and similar stature all right so the old venza uh it was wider it uh it, it, it was just different all right let's just call it different uh we're gonna go ahead and focus on this one being the new venza this is your limited like i said i'm doing the trim level series here for you um so part of what the trim level series is, is I'm going to show you the different trims. So in the Venza, you have three different trims, the LE, the XLE, and then this one, which is the limited. All right. So when you get to different trims, you'll see there are different things on it. One of the things you're going to notice on the limited trim is all right here. All of this chrome, it's on your limited trim. It's a very, very nice look to it. All right. I want to show you a couple of other things here too. So you're also going to have fold in mirrors. This is standard on every. So as I hit the lock button, you'll see your mirrors will automatically fold in. Unlock button, they'll fold out, right? So though you're going to have that standard. Push button start, standard. Smart key system on all doors, which you can see I can lock it right here. Once I lock it, those will go in. That's going to be standard though. So on this one you can even grab a back door and you can open just a back door if you want to as long as the key which looks like this is in your pocket purse whatever just within three feet of the door as long as that key's in there um, that is going to be an option that you have all right now there is one thing that you can get on the limited that this one does not have but is a really cool feature is something called the stargaze roof the sunroof all right so to tell you what the Stargate sunroof is, is it's actually a roof that will smoke tint. It's, uh, I'll do a video on it as soon as we get one in, but what it does is you hit a button and instead of like covering up, it just, it turns the entire roof to a white smoke. Um, and it's a panoramic roof. Now that roof, that sunroof will not open. So the only one that has the ability to have a sunroof is your limited and the only sunroof it can have is the stargaze which like i said does not open so um that's something else to uh definitely take a look at and um just like i said this is just a really nice car you can see i wanted to show you your turn signals here looks really nice your um you're gonna have a few other options on here so um your, your all of your Venzas will have one engine in there. They're all going to have the hybrid. It's the 2.5 liter uh, dynamic force four cylinder hybrid. All right, it's the same thing. It's in the Rav4. Um, it's you know, they're, they're, it's not a new motor. It's not a new drivetrain. Um, it's just a new design of a vehicle. All right, and see your chrome on the back here. Dual chrome tipped exhaust. Standard across the entire line is your power up and power down tailgate right so it'll go up it'll go down you also have the ability if you want to to hit either one of these two buttons if you hit this button then when it comes down you're gonna hear a second tone here once it comes down it's gonna lock the car and you just heard it lock all right so once it comes down it's gonna lock that vehicle the other thing is your reverse lights are actually down here and these things are bright. That's on all of these, by the way. Um, but we were actually talking about that the other day. You can actually light up behind you with those LED reverse lights. All LED lights on it. Um, now, once you get up to the Limited, and actually from the XLE too, you're gonna have this light bar right here. That lights up, that's your rear brake light bar. All right, rear wiper standard, of course. So just kind of showing you that. Don't ask that question, it is standard. All right, so. Um, you also have a uh, kick open and close back door, which I don't know if you saw, I just did that or not, but your back door is gonna open and close via kick sensor. So I'll come back here. 
and I'll kick and I'll get out of the way and you'll see that it'll come down. You can also see there's not much room that it takes for that door to come up and down. So if you're tight on your parking spot, somebody parked pretty close to you at the grocery store, something like that, it's going to not uh, take a lot of room for that to open. Uh, you also have the ability, if you look, to open it here on your key fob, press and hold it, you'll open it. There's also a button inside to open that on, all right? So um, now just kind of going back over uh, some of the outside stuff here. So um, let me see, uh, you got a lithium ion battery, of course. So that's the, uh, the hybrid, all right? It's under the back seat. Um, so there's a lot of people that ask where the battery's at. It actually is under this back seat. All right, now if you look, um, actually let me uh, go over this a little bit more. Uh, all wheel drive is standard, by the way. Let me go ahead and tell you that real quick here while we're, while we're talking about it. Your all wheel drive is standard. Um, you also have hill start assist, which will help you on a hill. You don't roll backwards. Um, and then it's obviously it's built on a new body, of course. It's the, uh, the new system, of course. So um, just kind of going over everything, looking at it. Your, uh, you have different drive modes, your sport, your, sport, your eco, eco and normal drive modes, and an EV mode, um, which is electric vehicle mode. Um, you also have your independent suspension, uh, McPherson strut. Um, on the front suspension and you'll have a multi-link rear suspension with your stabilizing bar um, you also have your electronically controlled braking with your regenerative braking um, that's something that's been around since the prius um, so basically what it is is a lot of people ask why hybrid battery or hybrid cars last so long when it comes to the brakes um, and it's because it uses a regenerative braking system so that regenerative braking system what it does is instead of hitting the brakes first, when you come to like a light drag on your brakes, like you're just kind of, you, you know, you, you were coasting, now you're just having to slow down just a little bit. It puts a drag on the motors that go to the wheels as opposed to actually applying the brakes. So it can actually let your front and rear brakes last longer than what they would otherwise. All right, so that's definitely a, uh, a good thing as well. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you the sticker information here. You'll see, 39 city or sorry it's 40 city 37 highway 39 combined all right this particular vehicle you'll also see 42 394 on your sticker price all right um this one has advanced technology package i'll show you guys about that here in just a second as well um like i said just kind of showing you the outside your indicative blue emblem um, which is of the hybrid you also have a bird's eye camera on this. I'm going to show you that here in just a second as well. So um, we're going to go ahead and get inside. Um, the part of the bird's eye camera you'll see on the very bottom down there, that's a camera. You've got the backup camera. You've got cameras all the way around. So now looking on the inside here, you're going to see this one. It's, it's a two-tone interior. Uh, this particular one is uh, black with Java, and that's your soft tech. This right here, actually, it, it's really, really soft. Uh, feels really good. All right, on your limited, you're going to get your set positions for your seats so that you can set your power seat positions for one or two. Um, you've also got your power seat, of course, heated and ventilated front seats in your limited. All right, all of them have your steering wheel that will power move. That's uh, like I like to call that a Lexus feature because it is. Um, so just kind of uh, looking at it. So now you also if you'll notice here, heated steering wheel, which is right there, that standard, and to the right of that is your power up and power down back door. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit the button right here to start it, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of close the door here, and there's a reason for that, and I'm gonna show it to you here in just a second, all right? But uh, you see your 12.3, uh, 12, uh, 12 inch, sorry, your 12.3 inch screen is standard you can see you got all your climate control you've got all of that stuff you can move it from one side to the other if you want to you can go into your radio uh, i mean you can do pretty much anything that you want to do it's really nice you also can control things from down here hit your map they're all touch sensor um it's uh really a lot of them are going that way i've really started with the avalon uh, i believe for a lot of these uh, touch sensor stuff um they did they seem to have done that on that first when it comes to the toyota all right but uh 
if you're looking out there, you can see right there is your um, heads up display. All right, so you got your heads up display. It's a color heads up display. It can show you what gear you're in. It can show you your charge mode, eco power, speed limit. Um, so it'll actually show you what the speed limit is, part of your road sign detection. It'll show you what you're currently driving. Also on the left side, you could uh, see that it's got the um, lane departure. It's also adjustable, so you can actually adjust it up or down. So if you wanted to see it at a different level, if you're a little bit shorter, a little bit taller, there's actually a way that you can adjust the height of it. All right, so that is a package that's available. It's not on every limited, but it's a package that's available on the limited. Easy way to tell if it has it. If you have this cut out on the dash, you have the package. Um, also, obviously, check the window sticker. But uh, very, very easy. I mean, all your, your heads up display controls are right here. So very, very easy to get to. I'll do another video to show you guys about that. But um, just a lot of things that... Uh, that you can do and you can change and there's just so many things that you can change you've got a standard speedometer right here that's going to actually show up for you um so and you also have the ability to make it a big speedometer um with your distance to empty right there most people probably would keep it right here um but you've got other things that you can do um also it shows your ev time so how long you can drive in electric vehicle mode which is a a pretty cool uh thing as well this is uh this and i'll double check but i believe this is a seven inch screen um which is one of the ones that's been standard in a lot of the things like the camrys and um they've been doing that in a, in a whole lot of those um but i'll come across it here in a second just to make sure i'm right but it should be a seven inch screen for uh that seven inch color lcd multi-informational display so it is definitely a seven inch screen so um also have wireless charging that's up here all right electronic parking brake brake hold like I said, here's your EV. Here's how you change your drive mode. You go up or down. You can see as I go up or down on this, I can change it to sport, normal, um, drive mode, whatever I want to do on there, of course. Your heated and ventilated seats, they're right here. Heat's up here, of course. You can hit it to change your heat or over here to change your air, right? So um, just a, you know, really nice to have heated and cooled seats, all right? All your safety sensor on here, all right? And if you have looked at the RAV4 as an option, you might have looked at the winter weather package. That winter weather package adds your ventilated seat, adds that heated steering wheel we were talking about. It also adds this. Now, keep in mind, this is not a package on the Limited. It actually comes on the Limited. But your auto on your rain-sensing wipers, you can see you do that. And then you can set your auto where it'll watch for rain for you. So automatic windshield wipers, that's standard on your Limited uh, when it comes to the Venza. So, um really cool features like i said there's just there's just a whole lot um, that you can do so um you got four usb ports you got two in the front and you've got two in the rear all right so you got up here you got some usb ports up here right so um just a, a lot you've got a very large center console here all right there's some people like can't fit a cd in there well you probably could but don't need to there's no longer any cd players on almost any car out there so um you don't have to worry about a cd player you can't fit one in here anyway all right so you also can see you've got your light up top it's a really bright light but it's not in your face it's actually up top there so really cool uh for that as well um you can change your lights all led lights on the interior um they are very bright so um, also have your SOS button that's free for the first year. After that, it's 80 bucks a year. If you want to keep it, you hit that button for anything that, uh, um, that you might need some help with, they can find you. Something else that's standard, digital rear view mirror. But you might say, that looks like a regular rear view mirror. And you see my phone in there. But regular rear view mirrors don't do this. All right, so that's actually a camera that's in the back of the uh, of the vehicle there it's actually in your back window i just wanted to verify where it was at but uh these are your home links but you can adjust those i've got a digital rear view mirror video if you guys want to see how to adjust it very easy to adjust it but uh it's uh it, there's a lot of adjustments that are available but you can turn it back off go to a regular mirror or you can have that back up and then you've got your digital rear view mirror it's just a really cool feature on this car all right so then both sides have your lights all right um 
blind spot monitor in both the mirrors. You can see that that's standard as well. Um, this is your JBL system. Uh, also wanted to tell you that. So uh, the JBL system is probably one of the best ones out there when it comes to making sure that uh, you guys get the best uh, the best features when it comes to uh, the best sound. Let's put it, call it that way. Um, it's premium audio through dynamic navigation. Uh, I said your 12 inch, uh, 12.3 inch touch screen. Um, AM FM HD nine JBL speakers with your subwoofer and amplifier. Um, it's just, like I said, it's really nice. So, um, you got all your Bluetooth, of course, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Amazon Alexa, and Sirius XM with your three month trial. You guys have all of that. You also have your connected services, your safety connect, which is what I was just talking about. Your service connect with the 10 year trial. It'll actually connect to the service department. If you had, let's say a check engine light come on and it says there's something wrong with your car. Uh, the service department can actually call you and tell you what's wrong with it. By the way, the engine started and you can see I now have 83% electric vehicle driving ratio. It's really cool. So um, it'll tell you, it's just something, it's like a scorecard. It's something that you guys can uh, look at and it can help you to uh, work a little better. So um, also you got a one year trial of remote connect. So you actually have remote start with this vehicle. You can start it with hitting your key fob. You hit your lock button three times and hold it and it'll start. You also can go on your app on your phone, the remote, the Toyota app, and you go to the remote connect part where you can actually press a button no matter where you're at, as long as you've got Wi-Fi or um, uh, cell phone connectivity, you can actually start or stop your car. I love telling people about that because uh, I had a gentleman not too long ago, he told me um, that there was actually a, a, an ice storm that had come and he started his car while he had landed at the airport and by the time he got out to his car, it was clean, it was fresh, and he just drove away. Car was nice and warmed up, didn't have to sit out in the cold or scrape his car or anything like that. It was ready to go. So that remote connect's really cool. Lock and lock your doors. You can um, see where you last parked uh, and see if you left uh, your windows open, your trunk open. You can look at a lot of stuff, driving range, how much gas you have in there, how many miles you have on it. If there was ever a recall or maintenance reminders, those are all in there. So the remote connect system is not only remote start, but it's really cool. It gives you a lot of other features and that is standard on your Venza. So um, definitely beautiful. You also have your dual climate control. Um, that's also standard on your Venza. So um, that's gonna be on all of them. So um, all, like I said, all your safety sense uh, it is standard as well. So, uh, you know, if you want to be safe in a car, the Venza is going to keep you definitely safe. So you got the 2.0 safety system with your pre-collision system, your pedestrian detection, your lane departure steering with steering assist, your lane tracing while you're in dynamic cruise control. Dynamic cruise control will actually pace the car ahead of you if it's going below your speed. Um, road sign assist, which will see your stop, yield, do not enter. Um, and uh, speed limit signs, and it'll actually broadcast them not only on your heads up display, but also on your center dash there. Um, it, and if you don't have heads up display, it'll still show you on your center dash. All right, so just it's a, I mean, Toyota's big on safety, and you're not going to be missing anything when it's on safety. So, all this is soft text material really light to the touch i'm sitting here it's really comfortable obviously i'm a big guy it feels good inside the car to sit in here i mean the the seats wrap you uh actually got the heated seat turned on it's kind of cool because it's a little chilly right now so um got all that turned on uh even got a clock up here over here so that you can just look down and know exactly what the clock is so it's just i mean toyota they're thinking about everything uh comfort they're thinking about all kinds of stuff when it comes to trying to make sure that you get everything that you can possibly want when it comes to a car all right so by the way you also have the way that uh, when you're talking about the seats you can actually set it to the key fob and i've actually got a video about that too so um you can set the seat to the key fob so i'll i'll go ahead and put that on the playlist when it comes to the venza and you guys can see how to set the seats to the uh um to whichever key fobs opening the door so if you know you your wife your you your husband whoever a kid that you programmed in whatever that is if they come in with their key fob it'll reset the seat to that particular person which is a really cool uh, feature to be able to have um like i said your smart key is is all standard on there um you got eight cup holders in here cup holders all over this car um they give you a lot of room 
Uh, I'll show you some of the back here in just a second. Um, your tonneau cover is standard, that rear tonneau cover. Um, overhead console, map lights. I'm just looking at my notes here real quick. Dual zone climate control with your dust and pollen filter, which is really good. Um, you also have rear seat vents, which I'll show you that here as well. Um, your soft text material in the front, so it's, it's awesome as well. Uh, <laughs> I know I'm saying awesome a lot. Um, push button start is standard, of course. Um, let me see. All right, so like I said, I'm kind of, uh, let me see, all your star safety systems on here too. Um, you have uh, your Wi-Fi if you want to use that. You have two gigabytes free with that if you want to in a three-month trial. Um, destination assist, you also have that. Um, eight airbags in this car, including your driver and front passenger side airbags, your uh, front passenger seat mounted side airbags, your knee airbags on your driver's side, uh, your passenger seat cushion airbags, and front rear curtain airbags for you. Um, adjustable seat belt shoulder anchors. So if you want to, or if you're short, if you're tall, you can adjust your seat belts very easy so that it is very comfortable for you guys. Um, blind spot monitor, like I said, is standard. Um, you also have the uh, proximity notification. So I'll show you that out here uh, as well. Um, which is actually if you're about to come into something there's sensors on the front and the back of the car so what it does is it'll actually do beep 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 as you're starting to get close to something to let you know you're getting close now here's something i want to show you before we get out here this is your view button all right i'm going to hit this button i'm going to show you this right here you're going to look around the car all right this is called bird's eye view i've got some videos on bird's eye view so you can kind of take a look but that's actual view of the outside of your car now this is a representation of your car but you can see all the way around the view of the car you also have different ways that you can look so if you're parallel parking if you're um, just trying to see if you're within the lines whatever you can even come back here and this car is black watch this let's just go to a dark color and now we have a dark color car so um, you can change how it looks and all of that and now i'll put it in reverse and in reverse you can see you use both your backup camera and you use your bird's eye view over here so you use both of them and you can actually change the view slightly too to more of a panoramic view or less of a panoramic view so that's something really cool with this system as well um so and then you've also got the ability to use that rear view mirror as well to just it's just going to make you more safe there's you know nothing wrong with extra to make you guys a little bit more safe right so um let me see uh, also you also have the um rear park when i talk about the rear parking assist that also is automatic braking if you're about to back into something you will have the braking system that will work for you as well um so it's going to take good care of you guys so i'm going to show you a couple other things here let me get the back seat I'm going to go ahead and shut it off here up front here, and you'll see the seat's moving back. It gives you the exit, and also check rear seat. Um, that's a feature that is on a lot of the new cars. Um, if you've opened the back door for any reason, it's going to give you that check rear seat notification. So it doesn't say it every time. It only says it if you've opened the back door. So now you'll look here, you can also see this is perforated as well. Although it's not heated or cooled in the back seat, it is perforated. You do have two USB ports that are down here and you have your rear vents. Um, awesome to have rear vents, I love that. Uh, additional cup holders in your center here. Um, nice center armrest, gets uh, get really comfortable in the back. You can see these seats will also fold down for you, of course. Now I've moved this front seat back pretty good, but you can see that they'll fold down for you here. And then you'll also see that they recline. There's two levels of recline. This is one that's right here now that we've got reclined or, or that's forward. The other one's reclined a little bit more, very easy. You just pull that lever and you push it back. Now they're reclined at the same level. So um, seat pockets in both of the seats, that's really good to have as well. So just kind of taking a, another look around on the outside. You've got your bottom moldings down there. I like having the bottom moldings because you don't have to worry about your paint chipping. Um, like right down here, if something was to hit it, 
uh, rocks. I mean, I mean, I just had a board hit my car. I mean, I don't like having to worry about that, you know, something like that getting hit, of course. Now, I can show you this, too. I'll hit the, uh, the unlock button here, and you can see your lights down here, all right? You also have your turn signals on your mirrors. I'm going to turn on your headlights, which you have automatic headlights, but I'm going to go ahead and turn them on for you, and then you can kind of see here that light bar on the back. All right, and we're, uh, we'll go around to the front, give you kind of a view here of the front. They actually are very, very bright. They, uh, they're aimed really good too, so you have great visibility, especially at night, which is when it's important, obviously, to have it. So, uh, lumbar as well on the uh, driver's seat. Not sure if I mentioned that or not. These are the sensors, by the way. Uh, these little ball looking things here uh little bullets what do you want to call them they're a sensor that is for the uh backup you can also get something called an activity mount which a lot of people are down here it gives you a little one inch thing that looks like a hitch you'll see it. i've got another video out about that um, but that one inch thing looks like a hitch and you can actually put um things like bike racks and stuff like that in there it's not meant for towing it's meant for uh activities like it's stated as an activity mount so um that's something so you've got uh let me see. All right, so you also got your roof rails. Um, something else people ask a lot of times, can I add roof racks to it? Yes, you can. Those pop out, you can add roof racks to it. Um, Toyota is very, very good at allowing you to do things to um, accessorize your car. They have a vast amount of accessories that you can add to a vehicle. Toyota, like I said, they, they like for you to accessorize it. Now this one's got your all weather floor mats. Most times when it comes from uh, the factory, you're gonna have either floor mats or you're gonna have uh, carpeted floor mats. So, or, or all weather or carpeted floor mats. This one has your all weather floor mats in it. Um, and then your uh, cargo tray as well. So I'm also gonna show you down here and I'm gonna kinda pull this up. You'll see you do have a spare tire and a very deep well, all right? And then, like I said, in your limited here, your tonneau cover, which is this, is standard as well. Rear lighting in the back, that's something that's good too. This is part of your JBL system. This is your subwoofer that goes along with that amplifier that I told you about. And you can see this right here is your camera. That is for your digital rear view mirror. All right, so if I kick this back down here, you'll be able to see Right there is that rear view mirror, or that uh, digital rear view mirror. Like I said, it's a little easier to see from the inside. So um, shark fin antenna, this is called a rear spoiler that's on the back right here. Um, that's always gonna be color keyed as well. So we are, your outside door handles are all color keyed of course. Height adjustable hand free power lift gate. By the way, you can definitely adjust the height on your rear lift gate. Um, that is uh, something to know too. The back windshield wiper is also intermittent, so uh, it will be uh, easy to change. Your tires are 19 inch multi spoke super chrome alloy wheels, 225 55R19 tires on it. Um, it's, it's a nice tire, it works for the limited trim. Uh, it looks a little bit more elegant than, uh, than the base level, of course, which is really what you want. Um, just to, like I said, it's, it's a beautiful car. I mean, Toyota has really taken a lot of time in redesigning the Venza um, to make sure that it was everything that you guys would want it to be um, and, uh, and even more. So um, just kind of looking here. Oh, LED projector headlights, automatic high beams, of course, with your on-off uh, feature. Um, let me see. So the weather package, of course, I was talking about on your um sorry the wind is blowing pretty good here um full width led center stoplight of course i talked about that um let's see your privacy glass on all of your rear side quarter lift lift uh back so you can see definitely a tinted glass that's standard from the factory um so uh no issues there of course and all of your chrome accents like I was telling you about uh, that you saw there and your aerodynamic underbody 
an integrated rear spoiler. Um, electronic power steering system is on it. So I'm, I know I've kind of bounced around a little bit. I'm just kind of going back over my notes. Um, it, like I said, this is the top of the line. You've got three trim levels in your Benzie. You've got your LE, your XLE, and you've got your Limited. Now, I will tell you, your LE is very well equipped for a base model car. Your XLE is where you switch to leather, gives you some other options. And then obviously you just saw the Limited. So um, those are the three trim levels that are available in this car. So hopefully I've given you guys a little bit to look at and a little bit to know for what you want in your new Venza. Um, it's, I mean, what else could you ask for in a car? So um, definitely this is your trim level series, your Toyota trim level series, TTLS. Uh, like I said, I'm Steve Welch of Toyota in downtown Nashville with your limited Venza here. So. I want to make sure that uh, you guys know which car that's going to work best for you and your family. Um, definitely reach out to me here at the store if you guys want to come down. Uh, I'd love to show you one, have you take it for a ride. It's a very, very awesome car. They drive like a dream. It's, I mean, they're amazing. So uh, Steve Welch, Buena Toyota, definitely like, subscribe. Uh, let me know if there's any other videos that you guys want. I try to help make sure that uh, I answer your questions. Uh, if you've got a comment, definitely put it down there. We're going to try to answer that too. So uh, Steve Welch, Buena Toyota in Nashville. And I hope you guys have a great day as we go into winter here. Um, by the way, standard all-wheel drive on this, if I hadn't told you that. Uh, I believe I did, but uh, standard all-wheel drive as well. No mechanical connection between the front and the back. So um, just adding that as well. There's no drive shaft between the front and the back wheels. So um, anyway, definitely like, subscribe. Appreciate everyone of you guys. And let me know if you guys need anything from me. Steve Welch, BMW Toyota. Have a great day.